Hi there. Uh, this is a tutorial video on how to use Eris Forms Pro for Joomla and Google Drive uh, to create a form which can be uh, worked on by several people. Um, the reason I needed this was I'm in a show and we're hoping to sell a lot of tickets. So uh, I've made a form on our the website um, which is our Eris Forms Pro and the thing is that the people who check the uh, accounts to see if people actually paid for their tickets before we send them out they don't know how to work in Joomla and don't know where uh, Eris Forms so they would like to work on Google Drive in the spreadsheet so what I did after um, searching for a while how to how to uh, do this as efficiently as possible I found out in Google Drive and I'm sorry this is in Dutch uh, but it should um, should make sense if you are in your English uh, environment. Uh, how to do this in Google Drive? I click make a new form and then I start making a form. I'm not making a theme, it just give me a simple form. Um, and I'm not using multiple choice. I'll just ask for a name. What is your name? And this is not even important because we're not going to use the form Google created. What is your name? Um, it's a text and I'll, I think that's okay. I'll add another one and I'll make this, um, what is your gender? And that is of course, uh, choosing from a list, a drop down it is. And I'll give it male and I'll give it female and I'm actually doing this because later on you'll see that there's a difference between making text and drop downs I started out just making all text fields for all my forms because I wasn't going to use the form um, I'll give this RS form pro demo um, and I think it's okay so I'll give this uh, form uh, I'll send the form. I've got the link to share. I'll copy that to me and I'll say this is has to this has to be a new spreadsheet which I'll call Eris Forms Pro Demo. Um, I'll click make and now the form is uh, ready. So to check if everything is working, I'll go to my Google Drive, get Eris Forms Demo and look at reactions and here is my spreadsheet with my fields a time where what is your name what is your gender so I'll have to test it um, I'll do give me show me the live form and it's don't know why it's taking this long but here we are what is your name? My name is Remco and what is your gender? I'm male, of course. Yes, I'll send and I'll look at my, uh, I'll just close these up. Uh, and here is time and the input. Well, it's nice. It's, it's um, inputted from the form we had, so I could do that again. But what I actually want is to create a form on my site with the same questions and they have to end up in the Google Drive form. So I'll go to uh, Ars Forms and I'll make a new form. I'll say Manage Forms, Create New, uh, Skip the Wizard, and I start with a text field. Okay, here's the first thing you have to do. Um, the name of the text field should be identical to the name of the, the text field in the form of Google. You say inspect elements. I'm using Firebug for this. And I'll see that the input ID is entry and a number. So I'll copy that, paste it into the name. Say, what is your name? And I'm not doing anything else. So, Okay, and now the other thing is I have a drop down. And of course, I have to have the entry text uh, ID for that as well. And that's this ID. 
And I'll copy that here and say, what is your gender? And of course we have male, female, and I'll say, shut it. Okay. And we need a submit button and I'll just call it submit. Submit, submit, okay. And I'll look at a preview of the form. What is your name? Don't look at the makeup markup. Uh, let's see, I can just change that here, make it easy. Uh, look at the markup here, this will be fine now. What is your name? My name is, I'll pick my mom, which is my girlfriend, and I'll submit. All right, so now I've submitted, but it's not ending up in my uh, spreadsheet yet. And that's because we haven't uh, connected it to both, uh, both of them. So if I go to my form, I'll do a view source. And in the source, I'm going to look for the form. Uh, let's see where the form is. The post action, that's this one. And I'll copy this URL, go to Ares Forms, and I've got the pro version, so I'm not sure if this is in the free version. Um, I'll go to the form, I'll go to the properties. I go to the post to silent post, uh, post to location, and then I'll paste the form uh, URL, I'll choose post, I'll choose post silently and I have to um, enable it. So if I sh save this and I'll go back to my form, I'll just refresh it to be sure. And my name, I'm picking my non, female, I'll submit it and I'll go to my as forms. So what you see here is that Manon has come over uh, okay, but the gender didn't come with it. And the problem is, I found out um, that this is entry, um, the, the entry is right. So I've got the, the right thing, the right um, uh, gender, uh, but it's a drop down. And in my form over here, it's a drop down see but still the, the values doesn't don't match up and i'm not sure what it was and but maybe one of you guys uh, have, have a better idea um but what i did uh i went back to my form i changed my form i have to see here it is i changed my form to make this, uh, sorry, to make this a text uh, again. And I'm, I'm only interested in the output. So if you really wanted this to be a drop down, if you would want to use Ares Forms uh, next to the Google Form, you have to find another way. And if you do, please let me know. Um, but what I did, is change this back to a text, go to the Ares forms, go to my form. I'm changing the drop down name to gender, and I copied the original one. And then I created hidden fields, which I gave the name. And the default value is male. And now I've got these in here and you probably figured out what we have to do now. We have to change the value of the hidden field when the drop down changes. So what I'm gonna do, and maybe there's a better way. So if you know that, let me know. I'm going to do an on change and I'm going to say um, fill 
Google. And this is obviously not yet uh, a script, but I'm going to click update and then I'm going to go over to the properties, to the JavaScript. Um, and here I'm going to input some jQuery. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for the gender script, gender, oh, gender um, field. And I want the value of that, which I will be putting into the vari variable gender. Sometimes I'm confused in using Eng uh, American English or British English. Um, but that's not important right now. So I put the gender value into the uh, variable gender. And the next thing I'm going to do is fill the entry field value with the gender value. So every time I change my drop down, the hidden value should change with it. And then I have a normal text felt, which a um, hidden field is. It's a normal text field, uh, which will be filled with the value I need. And if I submit it, then it should be OK. So let's test that. Going over here, I say my name is non and she's female i'm gonna submit and i hope this will work and there we are <laughs> but my non is male so my uh, jquery probably isn't working uh, so to test that out i have to check this may ah i know what i did wrong um and probably you already saw it i have to make a function out of it this so I have to say function uh, fill Google. I thought I called it. I'm only always looking if I'm doing this the right way, but we'll find out. Fill Google. I say shut down, or shut up, uh, <laughs> whatever, you know what I mean. Uh, components fill Google was what I called it. Fill Google, it's over here as well. So I'm going to try it again. I'll refresh my form. I'm going to, this is my daughter. Um, let's see if Evie, oh, she's male as well. It's not working. Why isn't it working? Unchange Fill Google. So we have to check if this will execute. And it's always nice to make mistakes because you can learn from it. And I'll see if this works. Uh, well, I'll. It's smarter to alert gender. Alert gender, and do an alert afterwards again. Alert ran it. I'll say save. Go back to my form and. Take some time to fix this. That's why I'm doing there's only two forms, two fields. Uh, EV, she's female. And now I'm actually going to, well, this should fix it. Let's see if my hidden field, where is my hidden field? Here's my hidden field. This is not working. All right. And why is that? Maybe because this is this is different. I think it is. Um, or, ah, I forgot I needed this one. I needed the hashtag. Let's see. Um, now it should work. Go submit, go to my form. And again, she's male. Oh, I didn't change it. I didn't, it didn't fire. So now it did. And is Evie submit uh, yes there she is so now you can see how you can do this and if you only have text fields it's really simple uh, if you need other fields probably a drop down uh, sorry a drop down you saw how we did that but probably a radio button would work differently um, I don't I'm not sure about file uploads. I don't know even if they are possible in the form here. Let's see. Can we do that? Uh, type 
No, you can't. You can't upload a file. So, uh, but you have to uh, play around with it. And I found it really easy to do uh, once you figured out how to get the fields across. Um, so good luck on it. And if you have any remarks or questions, just let me know. Bye-bye.